In today's video, I'm going to show you the best way to remove oil, especially motor oil and grease, from your clothing. Ordinarily, you would purchase expensive gels like you see here and other cleaners in an attempt to remove that stain. And most of the time, the oil will not be fully removed from the fabric. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using this white cotton tank top. The reason why I chose the cotton is because of how absorbent it is and it's perfect for this demonstration. The first thing I'm going to do is drip some motor oil onto the shirt. Let me separate it like this. All right. I'm going to drizzle some motor oil onto the shirt now. All right, let that soak in a minute. Ordinarily, if this happened, you would not be very happy and you would have a very hard time removing that oil from the shirt. Now, a lot of other videos on YouTube show the use of baking soda and other cleaners and chemicals. Unfortunately, a lot of those methods do not work. This method I've been using for a while, it works extremely well. No other methods that I have come across come anywhere close to what I'm about to show you. Once the stain occurs, the first thing you want to do is blot away the excess oil or grease. Let me clean there first. All right. Put that there. Let's go like that. Take out the excess. You want to keep doing that. Move to a different spot. Make sure this spot here doesn't go on the clothing as you're doing it. Make sure it's far away. I don't want to bang too hard. The camera will move around. All right. Do it until you get the most amount of oil out. Always keep it in that direction, away from the rest of the clothing. So let's go like this. And blot. All right, this right here, you get out of the way. You don't want to use it anymore. Toss it to the side. You're going to place a paper towel like you see here, folded under the stained area. You're going to need a toothbrush. And you're also going to need some mineral spirits, also known as paint thinner. All right. Take your toothbrush, you're going to dip it into the mineral spirits, and then you're going to put it into the area where it's stained with the oil. Keep it in the right spot there. You want to push down with the bristles. Work it like that. And this is an excellent demo because I'm using used motor oil. Do that and now turn this around and make it a cleaner area. This area is not too bad. I'm going to use this so I don't contaminate the supply. Put a lot more in there. And continue to rub. Take the bristles and go down like that. Every so often, take the brush, make sure it's clean. Take a little bit more. All right, so that's pretty good. Now get rid of this. Take a new paper towel. Constantly change the paper towel. Now that this is done, I can take, dip it inside. It's looking good. There's some more coming out still. Now, mineral spirits is flammable, so you definitely don't want to smoke when you're doing this. You don't want any open flame nearby. 
keep doing it until it gets cleaner and cleaner. But then I'll show you the next step. I've used this on bathing suits, pants, shirts, everything. Everything else tends to leave a spot behind and this actually gets rid of everything. Okay, so just keep working it in that direction. Okay, it's looking much, much better. Let me pull this away. One more paper towel. Lay that under there. What I'm going to do now is just blot, blot out some of that mineral spirits that's in there. Push down. You want to remove it. Excellent. You can see it's looking very clean. You can move this off to the side. Let's go like that. Just keep blotting. All right, now the next thing that I want to do is take some very hot water. I put this in the microwave oven to heat it up, get it as hot as you can. You're also going to need a very good dishwashing detergent for cutting grease. Take the toothbrush, you're going to dip it in the hot water. Put some hot water on here. Pour a little bit, it'll be a little easier. Okay, like that. Move that back a hair. Put a little bit more water on there. And you want to add a little bit of the detergent. Now you want to work this in really good. This is going to remove the mineral spirits that was left behind. And any residue that might be still there. Work it in really good. Get rid of this. Let's push this under there. You can see there's no trace of that motor oil anymore. Keep doing it a little more to ensure there's no stain that's left behind. When that's done, what I like to do Take this right here, lay the shirt in there, and pour a whole bunch of hot water right over that area to rinse it away. Now that the stain has been removed from the shirt, you can see there's not a trace of that stain remaining. In order to remove the residual odor of the mineral spirits, you're going to want to wash this shirt right after you're done cleaning it, place it in the washing machine and wash using warm water. I'm gonna show you another quick way. We turn the shirt around to a spot that's not wet right there. All right. Say you only get one little drop of oil on your shirt. The best way to get that oil out, put it right here. Take a spray bottle, you're going to put it on the jet setting. You don't want it on a spray, you want to have it jet. You're going to put the other end of this into your mineral spirits. And then make sure the nozzle is right against the oil stain. You want to put it right against and then you want to squeeze the pump. And what's going to happen, the mineral spirits is going to blast right through the fabric and take the oil from the fabric and deposit it into the paper towel. Let me show you. Get it going first. All right. Look at that. To me, that is the quickest way if you have a small spot. Clean again using the liquid detergent. Then you're going to place this into the washing machine and use warm water. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlists as well. Thank you very much for watching.